welcome to a course on sequence and series. In this lecture, we are going to see some problems based on the theorems that we have seen in the previous lectures. Let us get into the problem. Here, first we are going to examine the convergence of the sequence Sn where Sn is defined in this sense. Here, the sum of these terms is considered to be the single element in the sequence, right? So, Sn is this. Now, uh, here nothing is specified and we may easily notice that these are some real numbers. Hence, we are talking about the convergence of this sequence in the set of real numbers, right? So, the metric space considered here is the space of real numbers with standard Euclidean metric. So, while doing the problem, I am not going to specify the metric D, I will directly make use of the absolute value, right? Okay. Uh, in order to check the convergence of a particular sequence in the metric space with R. Okay, this is a standard Euclidean metric space with k value 1. Therefore, it is enough to verify whether this given sequence is Cauchy or not. If the sequence is Cauchy, then it is convergent. That is what we have seen in the Cauchy criterion for convergence. Okay, uh, here let me rephrase the definition of a Cauchy sequence in another way. Okay, what we have seen, we have seen that sm minus sn less than epsilon for m comma n n comma m bigger than or equals n this may also be put in another way that s n plus p minus s n less than epsilon for n greater than n and p uh, runs from 1 to etc right this is also true right so whenever we take n as uh, bigger than or equals n and then and I add something to this n, a positive integer I am adding to this n. This is going to be after this stage only. So, we are rephrasing this one into this form and with the help of this form, we are going to work out the problem. Right? Okay. First, uh, let me consider, uh, okay. Here I have uh, for n bigger than or equals n and P is equal to 1, 2, till etc. This is what we need to prove. Okay. Here, what am I going to do is that I am going to choose n equals p, which is equal some m. Right. This is what I am assuming. Okay. So, what is going to be there? S 2m. Okay. I will have to identify what is S 2m and what is S m. Right. So, what is S to M? This is 1 plus 1 upon 2 plus till goes 1 upon M plus 1 upon M plus 1, 1 upon M plus 2 and it goes till what? 1 upon 2M, right? And this is going to be simply 1 plus 1 upon 2 till 1 upon M. So, this is what we are going to have. Now, I am going to compare the terms, okay? Among this, uh, this is going to be the largest quantity. And this is going to be what? This is the smallest quantity. Right? So, here I am just going to make a comparison. Uh, like uh, what? I am going to compare this 1 with 1 upon 2m. What? This is going to be greater. Right? So, 1 upon 2 is going to be greater than 1 upon 2m. You may put m for any value of m. Right? Uh, in particular, here, just for an example, in particular, I am taking m as 5. Okay. So, this is going to be what? So, 2m, 2m is going to be 10. So, 1 is bigger than 1 upon 10. 1 upon 2 is bigger than 1 upon 10. And similarly, it goes till 1 upon 9. That is uh, what? m plus m minus 1. So, this is going to be bigger than 1 upon 10. And 1 upon 10 is greater than or equals 1 upon 10. Right? So, my S2M, okay, this quantity is that, is bigger than 1 upon 2M plus 1 upon 2M plus 1 upon 2M, it is going till 1 upon 2M, okay. So, only in the last part I have equal, greater than or equal, and in the remaining parts I have only bigger than, so I have only bigger than, okay. This is how many times this will be there? So, 2m times it is going to be there. Right? So, 2m times. So, when I do the same calculation for sm, 
So it will be 1 upon 2 m goes till 1 upon 2 m and this will be m times only. Okay, let me forget about these things. Now, uh, let me calculate to m minus sn. So, in this, these terms in s to m will get cancelled when, when we make the difference. So, this is going to be there. So, this is how many times? So, while doing this, this is the part that is left. So, uh, this is 1 upon m plus 1 plus 1 upon m plus 2 and it goes till 1 upon 2m. So, this can be 1 upon 2m plus 1 up, bigger than 1 upon 2m. How many times? Here we have m times, here we have, uh, sorry, 2m times and here we have m times. We have separated, so we have only m times remaining. So, it is going to be m times of 2m. So, it is 1 upon 2. So, finally, what you have is, S, okay, let me use the space, okay. S to M minus S M is bigger than 1 upon 2. So when you take the absolute, then also what are you going to get? This is going to be the case. Right? Here, in order to prove some sequences, Kachi, you will have to prove whatsoever the cases are. You have to check what? Whatsoever the value of epsilon, you must be able to identify some states such that this is happening. Okay? Here I have randomly picked some stage M. Okay, but here I am getting something of this sort. Whatsoever the value of epsilon, I must be able to identify some stage. Here I have not fixed even epsilon, but here whatsoever the value of epsilon that I choose, I am able to identify some sort. Here you may choose this to be your epsilon. Okay, here uh, this is your epsilon value, but you are getting bigger than hence. S uh, N S not Kachi. Okay, here just for the illustration, I have uh, taken M is equal to five. Okay, the idea that is going here is this, and this proves the given sequence is not Kachi, and hence the given sequence is not convergent as well. Now, in this problem, we are asked to check the convergence of the sequence in the space of real numbers as well as in the space of irrational numbers. Here also the metric is not specified, which means we are considering the standard Euclidean metric. So the thing that I was keep telling is that you have to remember when the metric is not specified, we are considering the standard Euclidean metric, right? Now let us uh, see the terms of the sequence. Okay, what is S1? It is going to be 1 plus 1 that is 2 power 1 upon 2. Right? So, and what is going to be S2? It is going to be 3 upon 3 power 1 upon 3. And S3 is going to be 4 power 1 upon 4. And it goes this way. Here, you may notice that these are all what? All the terms of Sn are irrational numbers. Hence, you may treat this as the sequence in the space of real numbers as well as in the space of irrational numbers. Now, we will have to check whether this is Kachi or not. Okay, here it is easy to check uh, the given sequence is Kachi, hence I left that as an exercise. And we will have to check the limit of this sequence. Right? Hope in one of the previous uh, lectures we have seen that uh, n upon 1, n power 1 upon n converges to 1 as n goes to infinity. Here in the place of n we have n plus 1, that's it. Okay, hence you may treat this as the sequence, uh, what? Your Sn also converges to 1 as n approaches infinity. As n approaches infinity, n plus 1 also approaches infinity. So, nothing to do much with this. But this 1 does not belong to r minus q. Right? So, what? Your sequence is a Cauchy sequence, but is not a convergent sequence in the space of irrational numbers. But when you treat this as the sequence in the space of real numbers, it is convergent. Right? In Euclidean spaces only, we have the Cauchy criterion for convergence that tells you whenever a sequence is Cauchy, that is convergent. But this is not a Euclidean space. So here, your Cauchy sequence need not imply convergent sequence. Uh, similarly, if you take uh, Sn to be the uh, n plus 2 upon, sorry, n plus 2 per 1 upon n plus 1, this using the same idea, you may prove this is uh, 
Cauchy sequence in both the spaces but is convergent only in the space of real numbers. Thank you for watching.